my gosh, what a treat it was for students and staff here at East Valley Elementary. They were introduced to Baba Day's music back in August, and they fell in love with it. But can you imagine their expressions when they saw him in person and performing? <laughs> Seven-year-old Dyson Carter's reaction when he realized he was looking at his music hero, Baba Tunde Akinboboye, was both touching and emotional. Carter has loved Baba Tunde's music since the first time he heard it, and to see the artist in person was nothing short of a dream come true. He popped out of nowhere! Surprise! Dyson started writing the hip-hop opera artist after his music teacher, Dr. Anthony Bernard, played the music for his students at East Valley earlier this year. I wish I had heard that when I was a child. I thought opera was all about women singing with Viking hats on. And I, because I had that misconception, I didn't enjoy opera as a child. But I heard this. Dyson loved it so much, he begged to hear it every day. And so with the help of his after school teacher, Lori Holt, Dyson sent this video clip to Baba Tunde. It struck a chord with the artist. And I was all the way down. It was um, really moving for me because, you know, like I, I tell people I never, I've never gotten, I've been singing for years, but it's just, you know, it's just work. But it's the first time someone sending me something that like, and I was like, oh, I have to, I have to go see him. I have to go meet him, both for him and for me. It's a genre of music that has taken the world by force. Baba Tunde Akinboboye started as an opera singer. His love of both hip-hop and classical opera eventually led to a new genre of music, hip-hopera. The Nigerian-American's new take on music in this car video started it all, going viral with more than 10 million views worldwide so far. <laughs> Baba Tunde says he couldn't be happier. His music is reaching both adults and now children of all ages. Baba Tunde will actually be performing at three other Cobb County schools before heading off to Florida. What's even more amazing about this story, his performance in front of these kids, he says, was the first time he's performed a lot of these songs live. Reporting in Cobb County tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News.